special day. What's the matter, boss? Couldn't you tear yourself away? <laughs> How was the stretch this time, boss? Tough? Nah. Which is why I didn't crash out like always. <laughs> I was sure expecting you to. Nice car. It's all yours. Ours. Everything we got. You're a swell pal, Eddie. Yeah, I heard all about it. You done a good job while I was gone. And I ain't forgetting it. I did big, Eddie. You're a lot richer than when you went in. We're a lot richer. Thanks, Eddie. Oh, I forgot to tell you, we got a couple of new spots downtown. Real class. I got the guy waiting to show you the books. I take your word for it, like always. Because we got troubles, too. I take care of the troubles. Like when we was kids. Me and you against everybody, eh, Smiley? Sure. Got my rod. Wearing it right next to my heart. Let me have it. Sure. I'm walking down the street, minding my own business. I step off the curb. The car comes tearing around the corner against the red light. The cop should have picked up the driver of that car, not me. Say, are you a trustee? Yes. How long have you been in this, sir? 300 odd years. Gosh, it's hot here. It gets like this in Florida sometimes. Florida? smell like this. Like rotten eggs. Precisely, young man. Rotten eggs. The unpleasant odor is caused by H2SO4. Hydrogen sulfuric acid. The most common compound of hydrogen and sulfur. Am I right? I poisoned my wife with a sulfur compound. My young wife. She was unfaithful. I was a chemist. What do you mean? Was? Before they hanged me. Where are the rope marks? Young man, what is the last thing you remember before they brought you here? Plugging me with my own rod. 
where are the bullet holes? He missed. Sitting right next to me, and he missed. He didn't miss. You're dead. Why? We're all dead. Listen to this mug, will you? It's true. Only the soul exists down here. Gee. They always said I'd wind up down here. Look, I don't care where I am. I gotta get smiling. There must be somewhere to crash this can. Abandon all. All ye who enter here. Are you off of me, screw? Are you off of me, I tell you? I gotta get out of here. What sort of temperature is that? It's the labor shortage, sire. Especially the boiler room personnel. There's been a fearful drop. We are operating at but 73% of normal. You want me to catch my death a cold? No, sire. We're short of condemned souls. I objectly suggest... Warden, I have no need of your infantile suggestions. I'll attend to this matter myself. My opponent has always, through some favored mortal of his, tested my prowess. This time it happens to be one Judge Frederick Parker of the New World. Well, we'll see who goes down to defeat. My beloved sire, your powers are wondrous to behold. I have lately been beset by great problems. My adversary is working overtime. But superior though he may be, and though he set up a thousand Judge Parkers to thwart me, he must recognize that I am still master of my own sphere. Out of it, sire. See the boss and his gun! What in my domain is that? You have no right to say I'm out of here, I tell you! Let go of me, you dirty covers! I'll get every one of you! Quiet! You can't hold me here! All I want to do is get a rat! You can't keep me! What's the meaning of this? How dare you bring him here? We have no choice, Warden. <laughs> I apologize for the intrusion, sire. Not at all, Warden. Pour me a drink. You're not angry? Angry? On the contrary, I'm very pleased. In fact, I'm delighted. To... Uh, what was his name? You mean the doomed soul that was here, Kegel, Eddie Kegel? Eddie Kegel. You drink to him, a cheap gangster. Why not? I love him. Ever see that face before? Of course. 
It was just here in this room at a cable. Wrong, Warden. That happens to be a picture of Judge Frederick Parker. Impossible. They look exactly... Precisely. They look exactly alike. And this likeness is just the weapon I need to defeat Mr. Parker. Eddie Cagle. in them hot clay pits way down below. You mean we ain't at bottom now? There ain't no bottom in this joint. Somebody I want to get, too. We can help each other. Is it a deal? We've got to crash first. I know how. Next. Screws. Well, Eddie? Step one false move and I slug you. I'll be extremely careful. Rub that smile off your map. A guy smiled once when you plug me. Certainly, I am. Come on, now. Hey! Are you stern out to something? That's the finest, the only way. Come on. Talk, you must have had a good education. The most liberal one. I only went to third grade. I went through the whole gamut of learning. I know everything. Stuck on yourself, eh? What's your name? Well, I have a number of aliases. I have a long record under the name of Mephistopheles. Greek, eh? Well, there are some who claim I'm more of one nation than another, but that's not true, Eddie. I'm of all nations. I play no favorites. You look like a con man. Look, Memopopolis. Call me Nick. You married? Millions of women have adored me. Quite a guy with the ladies, eh? I'm a fascinating fellow. Look, Mark, playing around with dames is dynamite. But delightful dynamite, Eddie. Live fully while you may and reckon not the cost. Deny yourself nothing. Flame and blaze like a torch and toss the fire about you. Oh, Mark, I am said it. I'll make the most of what we yet may spend before we too into the dust descend. The talking screw. <laughs> <laughs> Is it all right if I laugh occasionally? There ain't nothing to laugh about. I never saw nothing to laugh about my whole life. From the time I left school and ran away from home, on account my folks was always drunk and fighting, I ain't laughed. All I've been doing is trying to be somebody, and I did pretty good. Worked myself up from where I had nothing to eat, no place to sleep, the top guy in my business. Splendid. You're a man after my own heart. I wish the world was filled with Eddie's. How long is it going to take us to get up there? Any moment now. All right, Thomas. 
sent it up. Phew. Old man Schmalhausen must be begging with rotten eggs. It smells like the devil, too, doesn't it? Wow, them ashes are still hot. Hey, Janitor, dash them ashes with water before you send them up. Hey, I don't feel nothing. Of course not. You haven't got a body. If I ain't got no body, how am I going to get Smiley? Hey, you mug, look at what you're doing. No one can see you or hear you until I find you a body. Now, come on, Eddie. How are you going to find it? Well, everyone has his physical counterpart, his double. I happen to know where your double is. You mean a guy which looks like me? Spitting image. But well, supposing he don't want to give me his body. He'll be asleep. He won't have anything to say about it. What happens when he wakes up? When he wakes up, he'll be you. And who'll I'll be? You'll be him. Huh? To everyone else, you'll be him. Of course, yourself. You'll be yourself. Oh. Hey. Give me that again, will you? Oh, stop worrying about it, Eddie. Leave everything to me. I'll leave nothing to you, con man. I'm sorry, Eddie. It's this uh, cold air. It makes me irritable. I don't like cold climates. I don't feel nothing. And if you ain't got no body neither, how come you feel cold? I've been down below so long that even my soul has grown accustomed to the heat. Hey, if I ain't got no body, I ain't got no fingers, right? Right. No fingers, no fingerprints, right? Right. I can get away with murder. Not exactly. Without fingers, you cannot squeeze a trigger. Yeah. I sure want to squeeze a trigger. Hey, what is this, a uh, double cross? This ain't St. Louis. Smiley's in St. Louis. The body we want is here. And don't you forget, you have a little job to do for me first. That was our deal. Okay. I enter Come on. Hey, what's the idea of bringing me here? I'm going to get to the fingers to squeeze that trigger. How do you figure getting it in a criminal court? How did I figure getting you out of that jam down below? But I did. Yeah. That was neat. This will be even neater. Trust me. Okay. Let's go. They ain't a seat in a joint. What's it here? What's the matter with you? There are cops in them seats. Well, they won't mind. They won't even know. Your Honor, the defendant in this case has failed to establish an alibi. The testimony conclusively proves that this man was at the scene of the crime and at the exact time it was committed. Therefore, I respectfully request the court... That's a lie! I'm not going to take any more of this. Get it down, quick! What happened? He collapsed, did he? No judge ever passed out on me. Come on, Eddie, let's go. Hey, don't give me no orders. I do all the leading. Get me? Yes, Eddie. Don't you never forget. I'm boss. Yes, Eddie. I shouldn't have been so brusque. I've given him a sedative. Let him sleep a while, then get him home. He'll be all right. Sure, Doctor. All right, gentlemen. Smokes. I told you I knew where your double was. 
If this guy had hung around St. Louis, he'd have got bumped instead of me. Too bad he didn't. Is he the guy you want to get? Yeah. What'd he do to you, send you up? I was sent down, not up. Hey, this guy's a judge. I ain't muscling in on no judge's body. What difference does it make? It'll serve your purpose and mine. Yeah. What happens when he gets up and finds I'm him? When we're through with him, he won't know a thing. Not a single blit, solitary thing. What about you? Ain't you gonna find yourself a body? Yeah, I'll get one. But you first. You're the important one. Yeah. Don't you forget it. I won't forget it, eh? What? What you doing? Fusion, Eddie. The power of heat. I'll fuse you into this man as steel can be fused into steel. Relax. Yes, Doctor. Is Miss Foster still here? Yes, sir. She's making coffee. Oh, fine. May I inquire how the judge is, sir? Oh, good night's rest. He'll be all right. Oh, that's good. Run down to the druggist, will you, and get this sedative just in case he wakes up. Yes, Doctor. It'll be ready for you. Is he still sleeping? Yes. There you are. Well, thanks. There's nothing serious, I hope, Matt. Mm, excellent. No, I don't think so. However, I've been expecting this for some time. Why do you say that? One can only do so much, especially one of Fred's temperament. When he awakens in the morning, I suggest you pile him into his car and get him away for a couple of weeks. I'm only the judge's secretary, not his wife. If that ring means anything, you soon will be. But Fred can't possibly go away now. Why? Well, with the election only a few days off, his speech at the auditorium tomorrow. Well, Barbara, you've always had your own way. I suppose you will now. That's not fair, Matt. Nobody can stop Fred. Nobody can push him on. I'm the last one who wants to see him hurt or sick. You believe that, don't you? Of course. I'll bring him to your office first thing in the morning. No, no. I wouldn't do it at all. Not all people are ready to accept psychiatry as a normal branch of medicine. The general impression is, I believe, that a man who needs a psychiatrist must be crazy. <laughs> Ridiculous, of course, but there you are. And some people are rather reluctant to cast their votes for lunatics. I hadn't noticed. <laughs> be better if I came here. Bye, Barbara. Goodbye, Matt. Uh, Albert. Yes, Miss Barbara? I'm going home. And if the judge awakens during the night, Please call me. Yes, Miss Barbara. Judge, please, sir, your appointment's for nine sharp. Judge, your honor. Mm. I hated to wake you, sir. You were sleeping so peacefully. did it. 
I got one. One what, sir? You got one, too. I hope so, sir. I can feel myself. I'm solid. Solid like I used to be. Are you quite all right, sir? All right, sure I'm all right. Nick. Nick, wh where's Nick? Hey, Nick. Nick, where are you? Hey, Nick. Did Nick sleep here, too? I'm afraid I don't follow you, sir. You better not. I don't like being followed. Who are you, anyway? <laughs> really, are sir? Are you going to tell me that I slap yes, it out? Yes, sir. I'm Albert, your man, sir. And if you'll pardon me, your bath is ready, sir. I don't need no bath. They cleaned me up good when they laid me out. Where's his dust? I beg pardon? His duds, his rags, clothes. Whose clothes, sir? The judges. I, I've got to get dressed and get to St. Louis quick. What am I, a judge or an undertaker? And you got nothing with fancy stripes? Fancy stripes? Oh, never mind. I'll wear one of these. All right, you devil crosser. I'm coming for you. Here you are, sir. What are you going to do? Help you into them, sir. Scram. But, sir, I... Scram! I... Yes, sir. Hello, Miss Barbara. This is Albert. I... I don't wish to alarm you, but the judge is definitely not himself this morning. I'm terribly worried about it. Oh, that'll be splendid. And do hurry, please. Thank you. Hey, you! You! Yes, sir. Get me a ticket on the next plane to St. Louis. But, sir, you, you, I... You work here, don't you? <laughs> well, really? Oh, yeah. For a good many years, sir. Well, get it. But your appointment, sir. I got an appointment in St. Louis, which comes first. But plane reservations are hard to get, especially on such short notice. Okay. Then call the airport and give me a special plane off myself. Come on. Hey, I'll need some dough. Is there any around? Why, in the usual place, sir. Don't give me no double talk. Where's the dough? In the safe, sir. I don't see no safe. If I seem to be baffled Will by you... Will you shut your... up and do like I tell you? Where's the strong bar? Behind the picture, sir. There's a flock of pictures. The one with the boat, sir. The button, sir. Got any sandpaper? Have you forgotten the combination? I don't need no combination. This is duck soup. Please, sir. Hey, where's the nearest hawk shop? You can't possibly leave town today, sir.
How'd you get here? I never explain my actions. You better explain to me. I don't like no surprises. I have many more surprises in store for you if you try to run out on me again. I ain't running out on nothing. I was just hopping over to St. Louis to take care of that rat. That rat can wait. Parker comes first. Oh, it's being up so high makes me uncomfortable. I'm much happier down below. Scared, huh? I abhor altitudes. Hey, what's that? Engine trouble, sir. We'll have to go back to the field. What a strange coincidence. Wipe that smile off in your mug. I apologize most humbly. Eh? Are you sure he said St. Louis? Yes, Miss Barbara. St. Louis. St. Louis. Well, I can't imagine what could take him there. I'm at a time like this with a thousand things to do. You should have done something, Albert. Phoned me or, or stopped him or something. I tried to, Miss Barbara, but he gave me a push and out he went. Oh, but that's ridiculous. The judge's gentility itself. He never pushed anybody. He never did any of the things he did this morning. From the first time he awakened, he, he acted peculiarly. Go on. When I went to help him dress, he, uh, he told me to scram. The judge said scram? That was the very word he used, Miss Barbara. Uh, you're certain you weren't having hallucinations, Albert? I only wish that were true. It's been most disturbing. I would have called Dr. Higgins, but I didn't have the opportunity. Well, I'll call him now. Very good, Miss Barbara. Hello, Dr. Higgins, please. This is Barbara Foster. Not a word to anybody, Albert. Oh, heavens no, Miss Barbara. Hello, Matt. Look, I'm at Fred's. No, he isn't here. He took a plane for St. Louis. Well, that's extraordinary. Well, don't be unduly alarmed. It may be only a passing aberration. We'll see when he gets back. Let me know the moment he arrives. And let me warn you, Barbara. No matter how strangely he acts, don't antagonize him. Humor him, indulge him. Remember, you're dealing with someone who's ill. Perhaps very ill. Now, you understand, don't you, Barbara? The important thing is patience. I understand, Matt. Goodbye. Well, Albert, we must be very patient with him. We will, Miss Barbara. Remember now, not a word to a soul. Did you, uh, miss your plane? Yeah. Albert, who is it? The judge is back. Darling! Oh, darling, I was so worried about you. Who's the dame? Your fiance. The girlfriend. Or rather, the judges. Go ahead, Eddie. Make the most of it. She's all yours. Hey, this is okay. It ain't only a trigger I can squeeze. Why, darling, you've never talked like that before. Why are you staring at me? Just sizing you up. Not bad. Plenty of curves and all in the right places. Come here, babe. Please, darling. You don't have to be afraid of me. How about me and you stepping out tonight? It's been a long time. Please, Fred. Fred? You're Fred. Oh, that's a judge's handle. Mm hmm Who are you talking to, dear? Nick. Oh, Nick. Beat it. Scram. Yes, sir. Did you never talk to Al? Never mind what I never. There's going to be lots of things you ain't never seen a judge do. You better get used to it. Yes, dear, I'll, I'll try. Oh, please. 
please, Fred, you're hurting me. Hey, playing hard to get, eh? <laughs> What's so funny? Sorry, Eddie. Sorry. Now, what's your name? Oh, really, Fred? What's your name? Well, now, you certainly know my name. I wouldn't ask if I knowed. I'll call you Rosie. Rosie? Yeah. A little number I used to run around with. Built just like you. Come on, come on, relax. I ain't such a bad guy. Now, stop it, Fred. Hey, who you yelling you... at? I'm sorry, dear. Okay. You'll be late. I got lots of time. Of course. But you're due at the auditorium to deliver your speech. Come again? Your speech, dear. It's getting late. I do all my speeching with my rod. I want you to make the speech, Eddie. I'll be behind you, whispering in your ear. It's all part of the plan. Hey, I think you're doing a little too much planning. On second thought, dear, maybe it would be best if we postponed it. What do you mean, best? If I gotta make a speech, I'll make it. <laughs> It'll smell, but it's okay. Perhaps you better take a few days' rest. I'll call the campaign committee and explain. What's the matter? What's the matter? Think I can't do it? I know you can, only I... Only nothing. I can do anything I put my mind on. Of course. Well, where do we go? The auditorium. Come on. We'll give it to him good. Come on, Nick. Just who is Nick? You're a con man I tied in with. Boys, we ain't been forgot by Lady Luck like I thought. Judge Parker collapsed on bench. Now ain't that just too bad? <laughs> <laughs> and listen to this editorial. Dare we leave the helm of our ship in the hands of a man whose physical condition is in question, now in the stormiest period in our state's history? Certainly not. And as patriotic citizens, we gotta do something about the situation. Yeah. Now, back in St. Louis... Never mind St. Louis, Shagsy. Whatever you did in your hometown, we'll do it better here. The point is, we've got to see that the judge stays sick. We gotta see that his condition maybe even gets worse. Sure, boss. That's the idea. And we've got the judge hanging on the ropes. Now we gotta deliver the KO. Yeah. All of which is only to protect the people, mind you. Now, with our boy... People can go about their business in the pursuit of happiness, which is coming to them without worry. Sure, without worrying. That's right. Now, we're speaking at the auditorium at 2. That'll give you plenty of time. Put on a good show, Shagsy. One more cave-in like he had in court yesterday, and we'll be dusting off the governor's chair for our boy. Come on, boys. Wait a minute. Hello? Oh, hello, sweetheart. It's my wife. Go ahead. And remember, I want to hear that the judge is taking a turn for the worse. We'll bring back his teeth. Come on. Hey, imagine me running for governor. Darling, you're too modest. Come on, let's go on the stage. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I want to case the joint first. Hey, look at that turnout. <laughs> hey, what are you going backwards for? Stick close. You're giving me the words, remember? Oh, there is his honor now. Excuse me. Hey, where are you? Please, darling. Well, Your Honor, we're all ready to start. Where's Nick? They're waiting. Let them wait. Hey, where did he go? There's someone with his honor. Uh, I'm sure we can find him a seat. Oh, that'll be fine. Yes. Darling. Uh, darling. Nice thing. Please, darling, everyone's waiting. I need Nick to help me with the words. Do you have his speech right there? That's it, guys. We're getting a little worried about you. Your Honor. Stand up, dear. Your Honor, 
behalf of all the boys and girls who are members of the Parker Clubs and in gratitude for all you have done for them, regardless of who they are. Regardless of who they are. And where they come from. And where they come from, we want to present you with Thank the children, darling. Thanks, kids. You're welcome, Your Honor. I like children. Oh, that's right. Fellow Americans, as the campaign for governor of this great state goes into its final phase, it is an honor and a privilege to speak once again in behalf of the candidate of the Citizens Better Government Committee, Judge Frederick Parker. <laughs> the whole country knows of the famous Parker Youth Foundation, created by our candidate 10 years ago. This one organization has reduced juvenile crime 97% since it was founded. <laughs> because Judge Parker is a man who understands that juvenile delinquency is not a matter of bad boys and good boys, but rather a matter of bad conditions and good conditions. He is a man revered and loved by his friends, respected and feared by his enemies, a man of countless virtues. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as we have just seen, one of Judge Parker's numerous virtues is his modesty. <laughs> What's the idea of letting me down? I'm not letting you down. Far from it. What about this? Throw it away. Go out there and tell them off. Tell them off. What will I say? Surely I don't have to tell you that. These people sent you to prison, Eddie. They're your enemies. The Thou Shalt Not Gang, the Law and Order Brigade, they hate you. They've always hated you. Now's your chance to tell them what you think of them. You're not afraid. I ain't afraid of nothing. Then go out there and give it to them. Call them by their right names. Call them every name you can think of. Yeah. It is my privilege to introduce the next governor of this great state, Judge Frederick Parker. things. They're your friends. They are crazy. See that? Take it, Eddie. Take it. Uh, 
it's not you they're after, it's the judge. Yeah, but I'm getting the punches. But you're making a hero of the judge. You want him to make mincemeat to me? Need that now, Mr. Kramer. Thank you. Are you hurt very much, Your Honor? Mm -hmm, no. You sure you're all right, dear? You able to walk? Sure, sure. Gee, Judge, Your Honor, you're a champ. May I kiss you? The judge don't want girls to kiss me. You go right ahead, dear, if you want to. Get me some antiseptic and bandages, quickly. Yes, Miss Barbara. Darling, you were magnificent. But you know you weren't cut out for that sort of thing. You know somebody who could have done it better? No, dear. But I'm afraid of the after effects. I know you're going to be ill. Hey, I ain't never been sick in my life. But Fred, you were just... I'm glad Nick ain't here. Darling, what's come over you? What's this? Hey, take that junk out of here. And get me a drink. The mineral water, sir. I said a drink, bourbon. Well, Fred, you don't drink. You just watch me. And some cigars. But Fred, you can't smoke or drink, you know that. Are you kidding? What are you standing there for? Get. Darling, please, you'll only make yourself ill. Stop worrying, Rosie. Fred! Hey, how about some smooching, eh? Darling, you have changed. Want a shot? I wish you wouldn't, dear. You've had enough excitement for one day. I ain't started yet. Take a powder. Take a powder, sir. Oh, you mean scram. Here's luck, Rosie. Be careful, dear. I can do this all day. got to get home, dear. Home? Don't you live here? You know perfectly well I don't live here. The judge must be screwy or something. You ain't going home, Rosie. I am going home, and the sooner hey, the better. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey! Darling! Oh, oh, Fred, I told that's you. That's all right. I'm all right. You don't have to worry about me. I'm... I'm not thinking about it with it. I'd be fine. <laughs> Miss Barbara, what happened? His honor just passed out. <laughs> Oh, 
Hey, what's 